Hey guys, I just found a package outside of my door. I'm going to go ahead and open it up to see what's inside. It is a really heavy set and also it's quite large as well. So I'm just removing the flaps at the top. All I need to do is take the foam off to see what's inside. And I think the set might actually be Joss's Volkswagen Surf Bus. That's so awesome. So it's Joss's main feature piece. And I've been actually waiting for this in the mail to come for quite a while now. So I'm so glad that it has arrived. I just want to say a huge thank you to American Girl for gifting me the set. So I'm able to open and review it on my channel. This video is of course a shopper's gift guide as the set itself does retail for $650 and it's one of American Girl's most priciest items that they've ever released so a lot of people do have questions to see whether the price is worth it or not so today we're just going to be taking a look at the detail and the overview of the set. So all I need to do is remove this box out of the surf bus. It actually holds all of the smaller accessories included in the surf bus. And I'll be giving a full detailed review of those smaller accessories later on in the video, so be sure to stay tuned for that. And before I show you some of the features of the set, let's go ahead and take a look at the Surf Bus completely set up with all of the accessories inside. So as for the Surf Bus itself, it's a gorgeous teal color and there are some brightly colored stripes on it. The door actually opens and closes this main one. It slides open like so. And just to give you an idea on sizing, these are 18 inch dolls inside of the set and they comfortably fit inside sitting down, which shows you how large the set is itself. So we have Hope in the front sitting with the seat belt, Joss is in the back and she's enjoying a lunch and she also has her laptop as well. And then over in the front, we have Meadow driving in the driver's seat. The day scene is set up right now with the table and the couch, but I'll be showing how you can transform this into a night scene as well. So let's go ahead and talk about some features of the bus before we set it up. So first off, the door does open and close on both sides so the other door over there opens. And I've already attached some batteries so we can hear some of the features. So first off, the horn does honk, which is really fun. And then the wheel turns as well. The indicator makes a sound too. <coughs> Also turn it down and the lights actually switch on at the front of the bus too. Also there are multiple different buttons here. This one here switches the light on at the front and you can also switch it off too. And then the other sound over there makes some phrases for jobs. There's also some music but I'll just be playing the phrases today so let's listen to a few of them. So that's actually the window wipers. They open and close, but let's listen to some of the phrases. The first rule of the server's code is that you have to give respect to get respect. Third stop, the waves are perfect for surfing right now. Did you see the air I caught on that gnarly wave? And as for the rest of the phrases, I'll be playing them right at the end of the video, so stay tuned for those. And even though the gear stick doesn't make a sound, it does move up and down as well, just like the real surf bus. I've just rotated the surf bus around so you're able to see some of the detail on the door. So none of the features actually work over here, but they're just added to just make it look a little bit more realistic. So this item here is meant to wind down and up the window, but of course there's no window. Then there's also a handle there too. But what I really love about this feature is that it's so padded and soft to match the seats itself. So what I love about the seats is that they actually rotate. So they're facing the front now, but you can go ahead and turn it to the back so they can be sitting down like so. Of course, there are seat belts included in the set. There's a Velcro piece that makes it open and close. And then this piece is quite stretchy. It's made out of elastic. So when the doll is seated, you can go ahead and attach that back to the Velcro and it should be able to stay in place. And here we have Joss sitting in the passenger seat, but of course it's rotated so that she could be using the table and the other features inside of the surf bus. Even though there aren't as many features on this side compared to the other side, I still want to show you what's here. So as I said before, music does play. The button is right over here and there are multiple different songs to listen to. There's also a glove box compartment which opens and closes, but it is quite small so you're only able to store smaller accessories. For example, I have the hydrogen peroxide bottle just to give you an idea of what sized item probably fits in that compartment. And if you'd like to see a detailed review of all the accessories, be sure to stay tuned until the end of the video. There is a small holder here for the vase and the flower as well. So I have that right here to add in and it fits really nicely. 
You must be wondering where the table is. It's actually located right over here and why it's folded up is so you're able to slide this piece out when you're ready to use that. But I'm going to show you how the table works. So what we're going to do is we're going to lift it up and then there's the legs and you can unflip it and you can stand it up like so. There is a small holder on top of the table for smaller brochures and magazines. There is a total of three in the set. I have them right here. Let me place them down like so, and they should be able to stay in place. One item that's really great about the set is that there's a small storage compartment to store any extra items you won't be using for the setup. The drawer opens and closes, and I really love how it's blended with the rest of the set, so it's not as noticeable, but it does have a bright blue handle. So the item I'm going to be storing there today is the sleeping bag, because I won't be using that. This, of course, is included in the set, and it's a great add-on item. And now that that's inside, I'm going to go ahead and shut it and then it should be able to close. And the other item I'd like to include right now, of course, is the rug as well. It is so soft. It's quite small. It's a nice little decor item to add underneath the table. So I'll slide that in and the table should be able to stand on top of it. And just in case if it gets quite dark and you'd like some light in the van, there is actually a light in the middle of the van, which switches on, and there's a button to switch it off as well. Another sport that Joss loves is skateboarding, of course, besides surfing and cheer. There is a skateboard included in the set, and I really love how there's a skateboard holder part of the surf van as well. It's located right at the top here, so it's out of the way, but it's also a nice visible piece as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the skateboard and it seems like it's staying in place. You can see that bottom section is not attached, but I don't think it will fall over. So let's go ahead and talk about the back of the van. So Volkswagen's written here because of course American Girl did partner with Volkswagen to make this set, and it says American Girl Surfer for the license plate, and there are a total of two doors. This one opens at the bottom, it's quite small, while this one is a lot larger, and it opens up at the top, and it seems to stay in place once you open it, which is really great, especially if you're setting up this back section. This is what the back looks like. There are two drawers and there's a compartment section in the middle there. The first drawer opens up to reveal the little kitchen section. There is a grill and then there's also a stove part too. This part completely comes out like so. And then I'm going to set it up with some of the pieces. So we'll use the grill for the chicken, of course. And then also we have the fry pan for the eggs. And I just added the spatula there too. All of those pieces aren't removable. They're not stuck together or anything. In the middle here, this compartment's perfect for the cooler, and this section opens and closes too. Here's the cooler. It's completely empty, and in there, I'll just be adding the popsicles. There's a total of two. This goes at the bottom. Along with that, I'll add in some coconut water, and then I'll also add in the burrito as well, and the burrito looks so delicious Place that down. I'll also close this as well, so you can see it does fit in that small section. This last drawer opens and closes, and it's another storage compartment, and I'll actually just be placing that first aid kit in there. It seems to fit really nicely, but of course you can place cooking utensils or anything like that since this is the kitchen setup. While you're cooking breakfast or s'mores or anything like that, you can enjoy a movie night. So there is a projector screen included in the set, and there are two holes and two hooks attached to the actual van. What you're meant to do is you're meant to attach the holes to the hook, and it can be used as a makeshift screen and then you can fold it away when you're finished with it. And there is a projector included in the set. It's quite lightweight so it's easy to carry around and there is a storage section for the slides and there's a total of three of them but I already have them outside of the set. There's one for the surf, there's one for cheer, and then there's one for the beach as well. Let's go ahead and take a look at the cheer one. I'm going to place that in. And then there is a light that switches on and off as well. So you can see that switches on. And then you're meant to use the cooler as a stand. And then there's a compartment that opens this up. You're able to lean it like so, and it should project onto the screen. And here we have the other two discs. One of them is themed to surfing, and the other one is themed to the beach. 
So with the back portion of the bus, it can either be transformed into a couch or a bed. I'd really like to set it up as a couch, but I thought I'd show you how it looks as a bed first. So that bottom piece extends out. You just have to lift the table up, of course. And then as for the mattress, there's Velcro pieces at the bottom so it doesn't slide. It's a gorgeous light blue color to match the surf bus. I just have the sleeping bag right over here with the pillow to place on top. The set does also come with a matching blanket, so I'll go ahead and add that. And then we'll also add the throw pillows as well. There's a total of two, and they're themed to the beach. There's a strap here in the van, and that holds up the padding for the couch. And then when you're finished, you can actually remove the strap, and then you can turn it into a bed. So I already have the base already strapped down because there's Velcro, but what you're supposed to do is you're meant to lift it up, wrap it around over the strap, and then bend it down and it should look like a couch. And here's what it looks like from the back. You can see that the strap is holding up the padding. So the first item that I have here is the blanket and I'll go ahead and pull that down. So it's more of a decor item and then there's a total of three pillows in the set. The main one can go in the middle and then the decoration ones can go on either side. So that one can go on one end and then the other one can go on the other end. And the final item that we need to set up besides the surfboard is of course the table. So the first thing we'll be placing down is the laptop since Joss will be going on that. And then we also have some lunch. There's a sandwich and then there's also a smoothie too. We'll place that over here next to the parfait. Of course you do need a spoon for that. And then maybe the pretzels can go behind the laptop and that can be a snack for later on. And the dog food can sit right next to the table. And here we have the compartment for the surfboard. It's actually located on top of the van and there's a strap on either side so it stays in place. So let's go ahead and take a look at some of the accessories included in the set. There are so many detailed accessories. There's food items, there's also items for the kitchen as well. There's some really adorable decor items and there's some bedding items too which can be transformed and used for the bed and also the couch as well. There's also a really great laptop and there's stickers for personalization. And now that we've opened up the smaller accessories, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the food items. So here we have some of the main meal pieces. First off, there's some grilled chicken, there's a burrito in the middle, and there's some detail. And then finally, there is a sandwich. And of course, there are some breakfast options too. So right at the end, there's some pancakes, and you can see that they're double stacked with some butter on the top. There's some fried egg in the middle, and it's very lightweight because it's made out of a plastic material if you can hear that. And then there's also some strips of bacon, but they're all connected together. One of my favorite items in the set would definitely have to be the pretzel pack. It is so realistic. The pretzels are visible because there's a clear screen, but the packaging does look so realistic. And then the other item here is a parfait. I have it tilted to the side so you're able to see the detail. You can see the berries, and then there's also the rest of the item too. One of the most common food items American Girl tends to release are berry packs. There was some in the city market and here we have some as well. There is a clump of berries and I do really like how it comes with a plastic container. There is a lid with a clip so it's easy to open and close and there is also some bananas as well. A really common treat to have especially in the summertime are ice creams and popsicles. There are two popsicles included in the set, an orange one and a blue one. I do really like how you can see the stick inside of it and it's a little bit clear too. The next two items we'll be taking a look at are some refreshing drinks. So first off there is a can of coconut water and the detail is on both sides of the can as well. And then there's also a kiwi flavored smoothie which seems really interesting. Joss does have a pet dog named Murph, so there is a food bowl and there's also some pet food for the dog to enjoy while traveling around. These two items definitely go along with the food pieces, so first off there's a plate. It is fairly large and it has a blue and white color scheme. I really do love the wave effect in the middle because it matches the rest of Joss's collection. There's also a spoon too. Each girl of the year normally does come with an electronic device, whether that's a phone, a tablet, or a laptop. Joss came with a phone with her accessories, and here we have her laptop. I do really love this peach color. It's so lovely. It says high tides, good vibes, it continues with that beach theme. And then there's also this USB plug that lifts out, and you can also place it back into the laptop too. As you can see, the screen does open and close, and the keys are a bright yellow color. 
What I really like about American Girl devices is that they have interchangeable screens, so it's not just stuck on one photo. Here we have a total of two different screens available, but they are double-sided, so there's a total of four different options to choose from. The first one here is based off of the SoCal Board Shop, and there's a total of three different surfboard styles. Both of these are part of her collection. This one is from this particular set, and then here we have a third one that matches the color scheme in her collection too. This one here seems to be a video editor of Joss's cheer competition. And here we have the other side. So again, this one is all about a video editor, except it's different footage. It's about Joss surfing instead of cheering. And then over here, there's a cheer registration form and it's participant information and there's different sections to fill out. I do have to say, this is made out of very similar paper material, so you do have to be careful in case of it might bend. So in case if you're wondering how to add the screens into the actual device itself, there is a hole on the top here and what you're meant to do is you're meant to slide the screen down and it should be able to stay in place and when you're finished you can remove it and then you can either flip it around or you can grab the other side and you can place it in like so and then you can fold it down. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the first aid items. There is a bag to be able to store everything. It says surfers first aid and there's Velcro so it's easy to open and close. And there's a total of three smaller items. The first piece here is some hydrogen peroxide, we'll place that right at the bottom. The next item is slightly smaller. It's the antibiotic ointment. And the third item is some pain reliever. So all of them do fit in the bag and it closes with the Velcro. And the last few items here for the first aid kit, again, they're a pair of scissors. These do open and close, but of course they're made out of a plastic material, so they're not sharp. There are some gauze pads, and then there's also a bandage wrap too. And a few more items to include in the set is the ice pack, and then also there's a sheet of band-aids, and they're removable, so they're actually sticker, so you can stick them onto the 18-inch doll. And they're all very brightly colored. There is orange, blue, green, and pink. There is a pan, and it's a gorgeous orange peach color. There's also a pot to match the actual bus itself. It's a blue color. There's also some classic tongs and a spatula too, and they're both made out of a lightweight plastic material. There's some bedding included in the set, and I love how it all has a beach theme. They're so gorgeous, and the color scheme's so pretty as well. So first off, we have the main pillow, and it is so soft. It's an orange peach color, and then there's two decor throw pillows as well. This one's bright pink with a palm tree, and there's some stripes. I really love this one, it says waves for days, there's a wave design, and there's a rainbow on the top too. This item here is the mattress, it's a gorgeous light blue color, and there's velcro straps on the bottom so it doesn't move around. The next item here is a sleeping bag, I really love how the material here matches the pillow, it is so soft and it's a lovely orange peach color, and on the outside there is a design, you can see that it's sewn right up until here so it only opens until this section. A beach set wouldn't be complete without a towel. This one here has some palm trees and some stripes too. The next two items are more for the decoration of the van. There's a blanket and a rug. So the first item here is quite a thin material and there's a lovely pastel design. And then the other item here is so soft, but it is quite small. All of these items are for the projector screening. There is a screen, it says American Girl at the bottom, and there's two holes, one on either side, so you're able to display it, and it can be projected forward. The projector itself is quite a lightweight material, but the batteries aren't included. And then there's a small slot, so you're able to place the disc. There's a button here, and in case if you're wondering, I found the disc in this small compartment, so there is a section for storage and then it projects it with this display over here. There's a total of three different disc options. One of them is themed to surfing, there's another to cheer, and the third one is for the beach. There are a few magazines and brochures, so let's go ahead and take a look at them. First off, there's a Surf's Up SoCal magazine. Of course, it's all about surfing, and there are images inside, and that says, this page says, a pub-tastic place, and there is some more information about a surf shop. There's multiple different pages to read, and you can actually read the writing, which I think is really great. There's also some surf spots, and they're the top 10 SoCal surf spots. That opens, and there's some more information on the other side, too. And the last item here is a surfer's handbook, and you can learn all about surfing. It's definitely a great read, and of course, the font is small enough to fit onto the miniature book, but it is large enough to read. These two items are more for decoration pieces for the set. There is a vase and a flower. There are a total of five photos included in the set. They're perfectly miniature sized, and they're themed to Joss cheering and surfing. In order to keep food items and drinks cool, there is a cooler. There's a handle at the top, so you're able to carry it around. 
It's made out of a plastic material and it's surprisingly quite lightweight, but it'll probably be quite heavy once you add all the food items inside. There's two inlets at the top here for drinks and then there's a larger one over here as well for some food items. There's the classic wave design and then there's also a clip so you can open and close it. Let me go ahead and add, let's say, the bananas at the bottom. And also there are some popsicle wrappers included in the set, so I could unwrap those and I could add the popsicles in here too. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and close it. And then I'll add the drinks at the top. So there's the coconut water, there's also the smoothie, and I'll just be adding that raspberry packet at the top there as well. When I was reading Joss's book, I learned that she loved to skateboard and also her dog Murph skateboards as well. So I was really surprised the skateboard wasn't released in her January 1st collection, but I'm so glad they included one in this set. That's why I had to include a skateboard when I was setting up her room right at the start of the year. So this one here, there are two elastic items here so you're able to place the foot so it doesn't slip. While skateboarding, you can see it's a classic black color. It says American Girl with some stripes. And there are some wheels at the bottom. I do really like how this design is very brightly colored, but of course the wheels do work. Let's go ahead and take a look at the surfboard. So I do already own a surfboard for Joss that was a part of her surfboard set during her January 1st release, but they have another one included in the set. And I really love how different it is. You can see that the styling is completely different. The other one was more brightly colored. This one has a lot more pastel colors to match the actual main piece. So there is a strap here, and there's also two smaller straps here able to place the foot down, very similar to the skateboard set. There's the classic wave design that was also on the cooler too. If you take a look at the back, it does say American Girl, and it just looks a lot like a surfboard. And then there's a small tab here, so you're able to place that GoPro. I really do like how there is a personalization element to the set. There's a sheet of stickers, so you're able to decorate all the items. And let's go ahead and listen to the rest of the phrases a part of Joss's surf bus. Did you see the air I caught on that gnarly wave? Check out Sophia's beach art, it's so cool. Let's take Murph to Dog Beach. She's always ready to go surfing. Ugh, the waves are total mushburgers. Let's get milkshakes at the pier instead. Whew. I went to the sled at cheer practice today. Time for a swim at the break. Let's set up the projector and watch our surfing contest video. Look, there's a sea lion over by the pier. So as you can hear, there are quite a few different phrases about Joss surfing, cheering, there's even some sounds about her dog Murph and her friend Sophia too. Overall, I really do like Joss's Volkswagen Surf Bus. Of course, it's one of the most priciest items that American Girl has ever released since they had to collaborate with Volkswagen to release the set. It retails for $650, but it comes with so many different smaller accessories. And then I really love how there are so many interactive features with the van itself. It makes sounds, it plays music, it also honks, and the indicator works as well. I also really like how the couch turns into a bed as well. So it is very interactive. That's a really great part of the set. But then again, it is quite pricey, so you'll need to consider whether or not you're planning on purchasing the set. But I hope if you did have any questions about the set, they were answered with this opening review if you had any queries about how any of the items worked. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed it. And when I was trying to film the review the first time, when I made the indicator sound go on and off, my dog decided to come over because she was so curious as to where the sound came from, so here's the clip. <laughs> 